he's a bit taller, but Jimenez, look at that, has a five-inch reach advantage, which is a bit of a surprise. Jimenez bang on the 12 stone limit. Calzaghi uh, a bit inside. And they both had to work a little bit to make the weight for this one, for one reason or another. Both professionals now for nine years. Why has Jimenez only had 22 fights in that time? That's a good question. We won't go into it now. Calzaghi's boxed 146 rounds and at a much, much higher level. His knockout percentage is great, 82%. So we are all set to go with the big event here. And there's always a feeling of a real happening in Wales now. We'll get the Welsh national anthem and it'll make the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end. Ladies and gentlemen, before we present our co-main event of the evening, at this time we ask you to please be upstanding for the national anthem of Wales. To lead us, please welcome from the Welsh National Opera, having a hand for Kerry Williams. <laughs> From Wolverhampton, England, John Coyle. From Chicago, Illinois, in the United States, Mike Glienna. And from Warwick, Rhode Island, in the United States, Harold Bones. And the third man of the ring, the referee in charge of this bout, from London, England, Dave Paris. Hi, fans, here we go with our co main event of the evening 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Super championship of the world and now ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world from the Cardiff Castle in Wales it's showtime <laughs> introducing to you first the challenger on my left fighting out of the red corner wearing red trunks with white trim fighting out Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of San Juan, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 12 stone even, or 168 U.S. pounds. His fine record stands at 21 wins, one defeat, 10 of his wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the WBO number three super. 
super middleweight contender, introducing the challenger, Miguel Jimenez. And his opponent across the ring on my right, the super champion, defending world champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white gym, representing his home of New Bridge, South Wales. He weighed in at already 11 stone, 13 and 3 quarter pounds, or 167 and 3 quarter US pounds, undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 33 wins, no losses, 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he is making the 11th defense of his title. Here is the undefeated WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World. Please welcome the pride of Wales, introducing Joe. Once again, our referee is Dave Paris. Shake hands, boys. Good luck, everyone. Dave Paris from North London is the referee. Calzaghi getting a wonderful reception from his home fans. He doesn't plan on disappointing them here. Calzaghi reaching out for more ring history in the most historic of settings. How good, though, is Miguel Jimenez? He's been talking a big fight all week. Can he produce one against Calzaghi's southpaw skills? Joe, who was superb in his last defense, I thought, against Charles Brewer, though he was quite critical of the performance himself, thought he should have boxed a bit more rather than brawling. But I think the macho man in him came out that week. Tonight I think he's planning to be a little more sweet science in his performance. Well, I'm sure he'll want to impress here in Cardiff. if he'll want a really good victory. So I think he'll be going out there trying to get rid of this guy. Never been stopped Jimenez and Calzaghi will want to be the first person to do that. Calzaghi looking to get in with that left hand. This will be a new experience for Jimenez, who's been, with due respect, fighting not much more than journeymen along the way, with few exceptions, to build up his record. Did box at light heavyweight for a while before boiling down to this 12-stone division. Difficult for Kalzaghi too, he thought he was fighting uh, David Telesco, the respected light heavyweight, but he couldn't make the weight. And that's when Jimenez was brought in for this uh, three weeks ago. Good combination punches early on from Calzaghi. Jimenez keeping the hands up pretty tight. And complaining about a rabbit punch from Calzaghi as well. He's held this championship since 1997 when he decked Chris Eubank in the first round and went on to beat him on points. left hand from Calzaghi right. Jimenez doing a lot of holding on in the first round well he's pretty much got it all Calzaghi he's got the speed he's got good punch power boxes out of the southpaw stance which right. makes it even harder for his opponents Calzaghi's reign has included wins over four other world champions Eubank Robin Reed Richie Woodall and Charles Brewer just in case anyone thinks he's had it soft, he hasn't really. Punches coming in from angles that Jimenez is not quite expecting. Well, Jimenez is going to be forced to fight, he's going to have to trade and let the shots go with Calzaghi because Calzaghi is all business. Went through a bad patch but has been good for quite a long time again now, Calzaghi. He wins the opening round.
Some people say father and son trainer boxer relationships don't work. There's living proof that in this instance they definitely do. Enzo and Joe. Yeah, they certainly do. Joe's got good respect for Enzo and listens to what he says. Joe's been boxing since he was nine, hitting the speedball. And three ABA championships in successive years at different weights. Quite an achievement that. Zaghi in the black trunks in front of his home fans again the 11th time by the way he scored in Cardiff a long way to the American debut still not happening though this fight is being shown on TV in the USA watch the use of the head a little warning for Jimenez who hasn't shown much yet Puerto Rican, who's based in Las Vegas, has to prove, doesn't he, that he deserves to be there. Yes, he does. He's got to start trying to get some shots off. He's been pretty defensive, hands pretty tight, but really needs to start letting some shots go himself, just to get Calzaghi's respect. I think he's just trying to feel his way into the fight, isn't he? He knows about... Calzaghi's record and he respects it. But as the challenger, if you're going to win and going to take it away from Calzaghi in Wales, you've got to win it big and you've got to go and really snatch it. He is ranked number three by the WBO, but sometimes, to be honest with you, their rankings can make the Beano look like an encyclopedia. Well, he's starting to try and trade with Kalzaki. Kalzaki looking to ram in that dangerous left hand of his. Kalzaki isn't what you'd call a big concussive hitter, but he stops anybody really but the top fellas yes a lot of time i think he loses a bit of that power because he goes for speed as well but it's a good mix of speed and power that he has yeah part boxer part brawler and a great chin too in other words not many weaknesses he does slap a bit doesn't he sometimes yep. with the inside of the glove at times he does go for too much speed and just throws combination looks exciting a little bit inside of the glove work. It's good stuff from Jimenez here. Trying to stay with Calzaghi on the inside and give as good as he has been getting. Well, that's what he's got to try and do. He's got to try and you know, get some good shots. You know, put Calzaghi on the back foot a little bit. Looks like he has got a good reach, but he's got to start using it. Calzaghi again like that night for the Lewis Bruno fight at the uh, Arms Park when we got soaked and the ring was like a skating ring wasn't it? Well that's always a, a big risk but it's a beautiful night for this one. Some of Britain's great boxing occasions open air like McGuigan, Pedroza and Ben and Eubank too at Old Trafford. Lewis Bruno, Bruno McCall down the years and Hamed Robinson of course when Naz became world champion was in this city open air. Rain then too. Solid body shot for Calzaghi and then a nice left hand. Jimenez does look strong though, doesn't he? He's taken shots and not buckled. It looks like he does have a chin. Yep, it does. Never been stopped and says never been on the floor in his professional career. Does look pretty rugged. He sparred with big names like Mike McCallum, James Tony, and Michael Nunn in the Las Vegas gyms, the Nevada Partners gym which used to be run by the ref Richard Steele, I don't know if he still does. But what has Jimenez got offensively here? He's like he's looking for the left uppercut this time. Yeah, he's looking to pick his shots more in this round, Carl Zaghi. 
as he's crying out for this career-defining fight, Calzaghe against Bernard Hopkins, and they say that fight had more or less been made a week ago, then Hopkins wouldn't sign a deal with the American TV people, and now it's off again for the time being, but negotiations, I think, will continue if Calzaghe does his job here in the manner that people expect. And that would really be a humdinger if they could get Hopkins, the excellent middleweight, to the Millennium Stadium or somewhere like that. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Clubbing with a right hand, two of them in fact, from Calzaghe. Hitting on the break a bit there, Jimenez. Good pride and a reasonably tight defence from Jimenez. Sharp shot there from Calzaghe getting through. Uh, punching behind the head from Calzaghe is going to get a warning about that from Dave Paris. It's a little bit of a pressure on Calzaghe to look good, particularly for the American TV audience. Yeah, well, I think that would be pressure from that. Also, boxing at home like this, you know, that's added pressure. He says he thrives on it, but you know, it still gets to you a little bit. bit by bit looking to break down Miguel Jimenez whose cousin Daniel by the way lost in this city to Robbie Regan he's a pretty good fighter too yeah, right. mixing the shots up well Calzaghe some heavy ones some quick ones different sorts of combinations really is a good repertoire he's pretty dominant Calzaghe Experience the Freelander from only £299 per month at 11.5% APR. And what's more, there's absolutely no deposit required. Welcome back to Cardiff Castle. No problems for Calzaghe yet, uh, really. No, i just been asked a, a few things there from his dad. And just, you know, I don't think he's really happy with his performance. Just shrugged his shoulders a little bit. That's round four, I think. They have become perfectionists, the pair of them. I, I, think, I think Joe has very much so. And that's, you know, to be at the, the top for so long. That's what you need to be. He used to be a bit cocky and brash in earlier years, Calzaghe, but he's become a rounded, relaxed fighter who's well at home with his role as well, champion. Jimenez just took a little gulp for air there. Are these punches slowly but surely beginning to get to him well that's a great thing with Calzaghe always in tremendous shape so he's throwing an awful lot of shots you know he gets the fighters right. Jimenez is showing good resilience and he doesn't look as if he's got the tools to live with the kind of exalted level the fighter is up against. There's a couple of decent jabs from Jimenez going in there. He needs to throw a few more of them. <laughs> Sharp right hand from Calzaghe, then another one too. Then a left hook out of his southpaw stance. But he's not giving Jimenez any breathing space in this round, keeping the pressure on. The usual mix from Calzaghe, a, a bit of boxing, a bit of banging. It's quite a potent mix too. It's kind of right hook troubling Jimenez, who takes it all, but must be beginning to get a little dispirited. He wears the look of a man who knows he's in pretty deep. Yeah, it looks that way. 
Now Zaghi more and more content to stand in front of Jimenez, trying to dish out the, the big shots. I think he's maybe feeling Jimenez starting to weaken in there. The nearest Jimenez has been to a really big fight night before is as a bouncer on the door at the MGM in Las Vegas. Well, it's an awful long way from there. He's in with a, the best super middleweight in the world. Any complacency, maybe a danger for Calzaghe. Oh, carelessness, maybe a lack of concentration, that kind of thing. But I think he's even got too experienced for that, hasn't he, now? Well, fighters always have little lulls of concentration. I mean, that would be a problem for him. But really, Jimenez needs to do more, not doing very much at all. Oh, big left to end the round from Calzaghe. His accuracy wasn't everything it should have been, maybe, in the round. Tomorrow on Sky Sports 1, the first of 66 live Premiership games, the champions against the new boys. Arsenal v Birmingham, Ford Super Sunday tomorrow at 3, Sky Sports 1. But first, on Premiership Plus, Aston Villa take on Liverpool. Order this game for £5. Call 08705160160 or see Channel 433, Premiership Plus, in association with Scottish Life. the marvellous setting uh, some of those walls 2,000 years old many in Norman times and uh, different kind of fighting going on here tonight well he's very much on top Calzaghe getting the, the heavy punches through but Jimenez is tough and durable and you know, trying to hang in there the computer underlining Calzaghe's superiority hasn't lost a round yet this is the fifth due to go 12 for the WBO super middleweight title this remember Kawasaki's 11th defense of that championship well he's come on very fast in this round I be looking to try and take his man out good left hand just having to try to pick the punches takes a couple of rights himself can be vulnerable to that shot as Robin Reed proved and that was Kazagi's toughest defense of the title, no doubt about it, back in 99. In fact, some people thought Reed won it, including one of the judges. Rematch between those two wouldn't be the worst idea. Yeah, would that would be a, a decent fight. I think a lot of people want to see that one. First one was good. But they are on opposite sides of a promotional divide, so don't hold your breath. pick his punches more, not waste so many Kalzaki, little body shot there from him and as he has the odd success just to remind Kalzaki he's still around yes but Kalzaki come back with his own good body shot and then good left overcut Jimenez by the way is trained by Kenny Croom who's part of the Audley Harrison team Jimenez proving a tough enough to crack than the inadequate Will McIntyre who Calzaghe beat easily in Copenhagen a few months back. But he does look limited, doesn't he? Yes, he does. You know, in his offence, there isn't a great deal coming back. Defensively, he's pretty tight and pretty tough, but you know he needs a lot more shots thrown, really, if he's going to have any chance at all. But he has got bags of pride. More left hands from Kazaki who wants this over, you sense. I think that'd become a point beyond which Kazaki might be a, a little embarrassed if he hasn't got this fellow out of there. He hasn't well, arrived yet. It has, but he's putting the pressure on very well, you know, as he should be. You know, he's not wasting his time. He's really getting down to business, Kazaki. Good shots going in trying to work the opening's fast hands one of his big attributes Kalzaghi throw the combinations left uppercut trying to wind up the punch there almost a la Sugar Ray Leonard who's taking liberties with him there big shots from Kalzaghi again as him and he spits out his gun shield
Why do we have to grow up? What if we looked at every little thing with the same excitement and imagination as a child? You never know. We might learn something. Well, they're saying in that Jimenez corner while you were away. Uh, do you want me to throw in the towel, said Kenny Croom to Jimenez. Why aren't you throwing jabs? Why aren't you throwing left hooks? Why aren't you doing anything? Well, I think his answer would have been, he didn't say anything, but I think he, he wanted to say, I can't. And I think that's really the measure of it. He hasn't got the talent that Kalzaki has. I can't. The same words that Mike Tyson used at the end of the seventh, was it, against Lennox Lewis? When they were asking some similar questions of him. I just think he's struggling technically here. It's a question of levels, isn't it? Yes, it is. He's tough and he's proud, but he needs a bit more than that. You know, Kalzaghi is the finished article. Very, very good. And, you know, in the last round, he really was doing a number on Jimenez. Jimenez will believe all the time he's still in the fight that one punch might just deliver some kind of fantasy victory for him. To be honest, not much sign of it, and Alzaghi's just starting now to show both a little bit and box with some real swagger. Well, that's when he can get a it can get a bit dangerous for Kalzai when he could get caught just getting a bit frustrated at not getting him out of there again Kalzai whipping in the left hand and he can't make a serious dent in Miguel Jimenez not at the moment anyway and you saw a bit of the frustration of Kalzai there by pushing Jimenez off saying come on Pressure's in there for Kalzaghi because it's a bit of a hiding to nothing outing for him, isn't it, this one? Yes, I think Kalzaghi wants him there to throw more, to open up a little bit so he can get the, the spaces to get his own shots on, getting frustrated at the lack of punches coming back from him and his. It's not easy for a fighter when, even when you win, people say, so what? Yep, that's exactly right. You know, he wants to get this job done. He wants to do it in style. And then hopefully he can go in with the, the big name. The grimace from Jimenez, a little idiosyncrasy of his rather than an indication of pain. Sounds like he digs in the left of the body. more or less in total survival mode really isn't he the Puerto Rican here yes and I think that, that is the frustrating thing for Calzaghi he is just surviving you know holding when he's in close hands up tight nothing coming back Calzaghi wants to ha just have more of a fight a couple of body shots but still no sign that Jimenez is ready to give up the fight Having said that in this uh, wonderful setting, you could almost sit here in shirt sleeves if you had the inclination tonight. It's that warm. Kalzaghi's won every round. This is the world scene. Kalzaghi's regarded as the best in the world. It'd be quite interesting if you fought any of those other champions, Byron Mitchell, Sven Opka, and Eric Luka, who beat Glenn Caffey and other British boxers. By the way, Eric Luka fights uh, Omar Shaker soon, September 6th, I think it is. David Starr at the bottom there is the British and Commonwealth champion. He's already had a crack at Kalzaghi. He lost the fight, and it was um, it was a terrible bore, to be honest with you. Starr is better than that, too. Yeah, he is. No rush for a return of that one. seventh round into the second half of the fight not many people thought Jimenez would last this long this is around the time in the fight Kalzaghi predicted he would win between the fifth and seventh he was saying 
Inzaghi admits his problem. He says, I've beaten lots of good fighters. I've not really beaten a great fighter yet. He aches to get in with one and really prove his point and carve his niche in history. Well, no great fighters in his division. You know, he is regarded as the best and has to you know, either get someone from the middleweight division in Hopkins or Roy Jones in the light heavyweight division to have a really super matchup. He beat Eubank towards the end of Eubank's career. It's a pity he wasn't around with Ben Eubank Collins when all that was going on, because that would have been excellent for him, wouldn't it? Yep, certainly would have. He would have fit right in there with some tremendous fights. Accident of timing. Another left hand from Kawasaki. Can he knock? the fight the spirit out of the proud Jimenez the proud but limited Jimenez it must be said just slapping a little again with that left hand there Joe well, he's just got to be careful he doesn't get a bit over eager to get Jimenez out of there and just get caught by something silly or get a, a cut you know, in his head to get in there close but sometimes coming with his head a little bit dangerously too him and as they've noticed that on the videos just underlining the point you were making then about the cuts well, one thing he is this fellow is resilient so far anyway that's a good shot that sweeping left hand from Kalzaghi again it connected with the chin again it kind of bounced off it well there's a lot of shots landing from Kalzaghi you'd think however tough he is he's gonna start just taking it out of Jimenez just wants it cleaned up a little touch gloves says Dave Paris the referee must be times in there, Joe, where Joe must be thinking he's hit, hitting his punches at the um, trunk of an oak tree. Well, it is very, very frustrating. You know, you're hitting your opponent with lots of punches. He's standing up to them. You know, you just want to get him out of there. You just want it to be over. Jimenez just looked away, lost concentration for a moment. Kalzaghi gets him with a left hand. It's all Kalzaghi. That fight, by the way, Stantos Takalu could be the fight of the night, so don't go away. Black trunks, Joe Calzaghi, the red of Miguel Jimenez, born in Philadelphia, grew up in Puerto Rico, which has produced any number of very good fighters like Wilfredo Gomez and Felix Trinidad, Wilfred Benitez, and more. Jimenez, sad to say, is not in that kind of class. Different tactic from Kazagi, trying to sweep home the right hand. Well, he's doing everything he possibly can to try and open Jimenez up and get the, the shots he needs on. But it's difficult, really. He, you know, it's hard to criticize Kazagi. He's doing everything right. You know, he looks good in his attacks. But this is a, a tough guy who's you're know, pretty much hell bent on defense. He hasn't had many fights in this, but apparently he more or less lives in the gym. Yeah, they, you know, they say he's been in, inspired with very good fighters you know, and worked at the gyms an awful lot. But then you, you gain a kind of sparring partner mentality. I think we're seeing that a bit here. Yeah, it looks that way. You just do enough to hang in there without right. ever your taking over. And that is pretty much a sparring partner's role. This is a shutout so far. Kalzaghi has to have won every round on any reading of the fight. Now Jimenez is tough, but I think it has to be said again, and we don't mean to be carping, that he shouldn't really be anywhere near a world championship fight not as you understand the words word world championship 
Yeah, I think you're you're right there, Ian. But the thing is, you know, it's very hard. It takes two to make a fight. And the thing is, Jimenez is just concentrating mostly on defence, and Kazai just can't open him up. He's good defensively. Hands are tight. You are not throwing anything, so he's not giving any gaps for Kazaki to get at. Kazaki's a pretty good counter puncher too. I'm sure Jimenez and his people have watched the videos and know that. They're taking very, very few chances. This is a bit reminiscent of the fight that uh, Kazaki had with Rick. Thornbury, who is another super durable type, who could never get into the fight seriously himself. But that was around the time Kazagi was having all those injury problems with his hands and elbow and what have you. Another round in the bank for Joe Kazagi, and watching at ringside the uh, the money man, Frank Warren, doesn't look happy, does he? That's Jay Larkin, by the way, on the left, who's the boss of Showtime, the big American TV company who have a contract to show Calzaghi's fights there, sitting in the middle, Mandy. <laughs> doesn't look like happy hour, does it, that? <laughs> Nobody looks that excited, do they? Well, I think they know, I mean, let's be honest about it, it isn't making the most scintillating TV, because... A round after round after round, Kazaki is just dominating the fight. Jimenez isn't getting into it, but he is durable enough to make it go long. Yeah, 134 shots to 38, you know, really gives a, a look at what's going on there. Nothing really coming from Jimenez, and you know, that's the problem. Problem is for Kazaki as a sales pitch to his American audience and to get them talking about a showdown with Hopkins. Uh, maybe not. Well, maybe not, but you know the fight fans pretty much know what they're watching, and they know you know what Jimenez is doing. He's trying just to hang in there, not get hurt. Into round nine. You know, I think he's hoping the best he can look for is to try and take you know, Joe Calzaghe the distance and you know, get some credibility for that. This is a frustrating one for Kalzaki, but I don't think anybody should get too carried away or too carping. He's put on a whole series of really good performances lately, Kalzaki. And I don't think really anything that's happening here should take away his status as the number one man in this 168 pound division. I think motivation's a bit of a problem, isn't it, as well? Kalzaghi's probably thinking himself now, I might well have to go the full route to get this done. Yeah, and that's where, you know, a little bit of doubt sets in, and, you know, that's where he can make mistakes, so he's really got to keep focused, you know, keep his mind on the job at hand, and, you know, hopefully the, the opening will come. Jimenez already needs a knockout to win the fight. He's that far behind. I think he needs two knockouts, Ian. <laughs> Might need some of the old knights to get back in the ring with him. Yeah. <laughs> From the castle's olden days to have a chance, I think, with Kalzaghi here. Unless Kalzaghi gets right. careless, he does get hit with a right hand there. But among his many other uh, attributes, Kalzaghi is this chin of rock. He almost lost a fight when he was 18 in the European Junior Amateur Championships. Well, that's true, and how many times have you seen Kalzaki hurt? You really have to think to find one. Excellent southpaw jab there from Kalzaki, jolting Jimenez's head back. Jimenez waves him in rather bravely and looks accusingly at the referee. Felt Kalzaki had been up to some nonsense on the inside, I think. Dave Paris not interested. Well, one more time, lose a point. I think that's the head just being a bit loose with that inside. Now, Will Jimenez try to pick it up late in the fight. I'm sure he wants to go home and tell his family how he went the distance with Carl Zaghi for his own pride.
more frustration. Massaging the legs. Maybe the fight is pumping a little bit of life there. Well, Enzo Calzaghi still wanting more ones and twos, picking it up. But he's trying so hard to find the shots to put this man away, but he really has got an excellent chin. Yeah, superb, solid jab from Calzaghi. One of the, the cleaner punches of the fight. It's a little untidy at times when you're getting close, but that one's a really good punch. Round after round after round, Calzaghi winning. Jimenez showing great durability and courage taking all these punches, but it must have got to the point here really, I think, Glenn, where he, he wishes he was on the other side of the moat from Calzaghi. Yeah, I think he will, and then a, a low blow for Calzaghi there as well. Blind side of the referee, so you can see that one. Now, will Jimenez try to do more late on? Will he get brave? Well, that's really what Calzaghi's wanted him to do from the very start. That's where he leave openings for Calzaghi to connect cleanly with. Well, I think in a long world championship reign, there are always going to be nights like this, aren't there, for um, a fighter? Most definitely. You know, you can't think of a, a champion who, time after time, you know, was in great fights. It just doesn't happen. Point deduction for use of the head, repeatedly, by Miguel Jimenez. He'd given him a final warning about that. So he's even further behind now, Jimenez. And he was already a country mile adrift. be wondering what he's got to do to get to get the shots right on he's not really getting the, the shots to connect right you know he has got a, a good defense high guard Jimenez blocking quite a few to be fair to him Jimenez Calzaghi's found it hard to find a way through if you had criticisms of Calzaghi's performance tonight what would they be Glenn it, it's very difficult, you know, he's tried, you know, it takes two to make a fight and Jimenez really hasn't done that, you know, he hasn't went out there to try and win and that's where the problem lies. You know, Calzaghi's tried to break him down, he's mixed it up well, he's, you know, power shots and, and quick shots, but he just hasn't really got the chance. You know, his work rate's been very good from the start. Thinking might have opened him up a bit more with increased use of the southpaw jab or well he's tried that but if you if you notice Jimenez has caught the jab time and time again you know, he's pretty good defensively I think you've got to give him credit for that tries his own right hand Jimenez it's worth remembering that he's older than Calzaghi at 32 so this isn't some youngster being thrown a surprise chance well it is a surprise chance but he's not a youngster well, the critics about the question that the punch power of Joe Calzaghi at this level. One would have thought maybe he still should have had this type of opponent out of there. Trying something else, Calzaghi, but worth remembering he's stopped another Jimenez. Juan Carlos was super durable, didn't he? In nine rounds, if he don't have Sheikha in five, Richie would have ten. And uh, Mario Fight, who wasn't that good in one. Well, there are those words again, this time from Kawasaki. I can't. I'm not quite sure what Enzo said to him beforehand. But there was a measure of the frustration there, I think, in the Kawasaki corner. You gotta come with me with them double jabs, right hands and left hands. Yes, sir. Get your head to the other side. Okay. Okay. All you got gamble with big shots, Miguel. Okay, All you got. Well, we have, no, we have well. nothing to lose here, Miguel. Nothing to lose. Gamble, 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 gamble. Yes, gamble. sir. Right. That's it. Big shots. Right. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Two rounds. Round. Interesting that they were saying in the uh, Jimenez corner, gamble. Well, they know their man's got no chance of winning it as it stands at the minute, so he has to gamble to have any chance to try and take something away from this fight. 
but they call this promotion Hard Night with a K and it's proving a hard night in a quite different respect for Kawasaki although he's winning every round this isn't quite what he had in mind really yes and you wonder you know when he says he can't you know about the the hands he has that hand from in the past could he have hurt his hands early on and not getting full power in these shots it is a possibility well I hope not because we were hoping all those problems right. were in the past it was a lot of inactivity Paris with a word for both of them. What was that about? To yeah, I think he just wanted to, to keep it clean, keep the fight flowing. It's getting late in this one, and the, you know, there's the danger they start to bang heads and all that. Keep quiet. Jimenez is talking in there to Kawasaki now. Let's talk good English, Jimenez, even as he does in Las Vegas. Jimenez catches that jab again. He's just caught it. Right. You know, just parried it, as they say, in, in the palm of his hand, time and time again. He's obviously worked well with southpaws because he's good at catching that jab. Doesn't get caught with many. He can look after himself. There's all the hallmarks, as we were saying earlier, of a man who's uh, been a few rounds with those top names right. like McCallum Pony Nunn in the gym. Yeah, if you do that, you learn to look after yourself. You can't go in with those sort of men regularly and last for very long. Looks like he's going to go the full way here. And I think probably Calzaghi's accepted the fact. Good right hand from him and his there. No effect. sign at all here really of the crowd getting that restless with Calzaghi they're quite content to see him winning are they yeah I think they are you know he's, he's a very very good champion you know he's won all his fights and you know, I think they're just happy to see his reign carry on and you know they know there's other big nights ahead again good defensive work by Jimenez blocking that right lead of Joe Calzaghi right. I'd say this is his most uh, frustrating night in quite a while. Right. I think he wanted to use his boxing skills tonight and look to break down him and stop him in the middle round. And now there's one round left of it. Jimenez is within sight of hearing the final bell. Now, all you have to do is sit down with him now, Miguel. Put those shots on top. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Don't, don't block to survive. You gotta counter punches now, okay? Or yeah. you gotta lead with the, with the jab, okay? It's your time, baby. Yeah. Come on, what are we doing? This, this, this is it. This is it. This is the last round. Last round coming up, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Fighters do need reminding as well, don't they, at this point, that it is the last round, because you, you get disorientated. I mean, you've never definitely. been in there, you have. Most definitely, you do. You lose track of what round it is. Jimenez has been scheduled to go that distance a couple of times. 12 rounds for Vicky Kazagi, five times Jimenez, never. So he's in new territory here, Jimenez. Last round sort of half smile between the two fighters and mutual recognition. Right. Kawasaki will still want to stop this man if he can. Oh, he will, right to the, the last seconds. He'll be out there trying to do that. Massive points deficit. I've got him 12 points ahead in the 11th round. The half in world title fights, do you see that? I think that's a measure of his superiority. Right. But he still, he loved the stoppage. Every single round, certainly on my card. Yep. Everyone on mine, even that 10 a round when he got a point deducted, him and Ayers, so.
But I think Jimenez realized early on that you know, he was out of his depth a bit and you know, just, just really thought, I've got to survive here. Calzaghe creeping ever nearer, a British record of world title defences currently held by Chris Eubank. Just needs a few more to overhaul him now. This will be number 12. Jimenez, no sign of him really taking the gamble that his corner were talking about and right. throwing the kitchen sink or even trying to at Calzaghe. I think for him, victory is crossing the finishing line, isn't it? Yeah, most definitely. I think he, he realised that very early on. That, you know, it's just going to be a, a tactical victory just to hang in there, get through this, come out with a little bit of pride that way. I think he'd give up on a victory a long time ago. Yep, I'm afraid all this comes with the territory of being a world champion. You can't look electric every time, even uh, Muhammad Ali found out about Lovely left hand from Kawasaki there. Jimenez again, took it, soaked it up. Very, very tough man. All his attributes are defensive ones. So. Yep, and he's used them all in this fight just to get through. There's no doubt about it, Calzaghe is on his way to victory here. Barring something very dramatic in the last half minute. And as usual, Calzaghe still working well in this final round. Great fitness. Right. Yeah, we wondered about whether it's been hard for him to make the weight, but absolutely no sign of that at all. We should have known better than to question it, I think, really. With a couple of big left hands from Calzaghe right. going in. Still trying to get the big one on. He's just had too much, technically, all the way through, really, for Jimenez. It's all over, and for me, it's a complete shutout. Every round to Calzaghe, a night where it was hard for him to look good, but the bottom line is he's held on to the title. That's quite beyond dispute, even before the announcement of the decision. But I don't think he'll be happy, will he? No, he'll not be. He'll be very disappointed in his performance. You know, he got to work out. He got 12 rounds, and that just keeps it all going. But I know, you know, he's... He's a perfectionist now. He'll not be happy with that performance. And yet, you know, for me, he did everything he could. He was just in with a guy who was pretty negative and who wanted to get through it. And he landed 133 more punches than his opponent. Much better economy rate. A kind of wry smile to his Cardiff home crowd. The sun has gone down here. And the castle walls still picked out in the spotlights in the background. And he'll, admire, he'll know that Jimenez went through a lot there in terms of taking shots and staying with it. Yep, he'll have respect for Jimenez. He knows how you know, tough his chin is on this lovely night. Great atmosphere and the crowd vocal till the end. Well, I had it 121.07. are in agreement we have a unanimous decision all three judges scored about the same 120 to 107 all three in favor of the winner still undefeated and still the super middleweight champion of the world Kazaki wins. Stay with us for more live from Cardiff.